Pyeongchang 2018, stories to watch. Ski jumping. Ski jumping has been on the Olympic program since the Winter Games began in 1924. It was a men's only event until the women's competition was added to the program for Sochi four years ago. Even without wings, Olympic ski jumpers soar as smoothly as any bird, plane, or snowflake, gently riding the air as surely as many people walk. Can mankind fly? The Olympic ski jumper says, just watch me. There will be four ski jumping events in Pyeongchang, a normal hill or 90 meter hill individual event for men in which top male jumpers take off three times. The men will also compete on the 120 meter large hill in both individual and team competitions featuring the nation's four best jumpers. For women, there will be a normal hill or 90 meter hill individual event in which female jumpers take off twice. Athletes who jump the farthest generally receive the top scores, but judges also mark form and landing, and their evaluations figure into the final scores. Ski jumping events will be held at the Alpensia Ski Jumping Center. The jumping events in the Nordic Combined Competition will also take place in this 11,000-seat stadium. Do you know which ski jumper has a movie made about him? Find out at the end. The reigning Olympic silver medalist in the large hill, Noriaki Kazai, will be 45 at Pyeongchang 2018, which will mark his record-setting eighth Winter Olympic appearance. He says he wanted to participate in these Olympics because his family has never seen him compete, and Japan is close to the Republic of Korea. Noriaki was born in the region of Hokkaido, where Sapporo 1972 was staged. Japan swept the competition to win their only three medals of those 72 Olympics. There is a Polish rap song and a Finnish punk song about him. Noriaki made his World Cup debut at the age of 16 in 1988, and he has jumped in more than 500 international competitions. Stefan Kraft won gold medals in both the Normal Hill and Large Hill at the World Nordic Championships in 2017, setting himself up as an Olympic favorite in Pyeongchang. He set the ski jump world record last season with an astounding jump of 253.5 meters. Stefan enjoys a game of football or beach volleyball during the Austrian summer. Stefan may be soft-spoken, but his last name, Kraft, means force in German. In the all-time medal table for ski jumping, in fifth place, Switzerland has four gold. Fourth is Germany with a total of 11 medals. Third place, we find Austria with six gold. Norway in second with nine gold. And on top, 10 gold medals is Finland. Peter Privitz will lead the Slovenian team into the ski jumping competition. Peter, 25, has won two medals at the Olympics and three at the World Championships, but he is still looking for his first gold medal. Peter has two brothers that are ski jumpers, Dolmen and Sene. Middle brother Sene, 21, won the European Youth Olympic Festival jump competition in 2013. The three brothers competed together in the team event at Villengen, Germany last year. Their father is an international ski jumping referee. Peter was named Slovenian Sports Person of the Year four times. Sarah Takanashi entered the last Olympics as defending world champion, but missed a medal by two points and settled for fourth at the games in Sochi. Sarah took lessons in piano and ballet before her father introduced her to ski jumping when she was seven. When traveling, she still sends him videos of her jumps, seeking his advice, though he is not her official coach. Sarah was a member of the Tokyo 2020 bid committee that won the right to stage the Olympics. Did you know what happened in 1985? Ski jumping was changed forever when the Swede Jan Bokleyev started the V technique. Rather than holding his skis in the traditional straight line, Bokleyev debuted the revolutionary style for greater aerodynamics, and now everybody does it. Karina Vogt has dominated the event over the past four years, finishing first in Sochi 2014 and winning both individual and the mixed team gold at the World Championships in 2015 and 2017. She had reached the podium eight times that season in the World Cup without finishing first before her win in Sochi. Karina first saw ski jumping on TV as a four-year-old and took to jumping on tiny hills by the time she was eight. She nearly quit the sport after some poor results as a 17-year-old. Karina is trained as a police officer. 
Sarah Hendrickson won the first World Cup season title for women's ski jumping in 2012. But six months before the Sochi Olympics, she tore her ACL and MCL during a training jump and barely recovered from the Olympics. In Sochi, where women's ski jumping made its debut, Sarah drew bib number one, making her the first woman to compete in ski jumping at an Olympics. Sarah is dating U.S. freestyle skier Torin Yader Wallace. So did you know which ski jumper has a movie made about him? Well, that is Eddie the Eagle Edwards. The movie was released in 2016. Ski jumping gets underway in the first week of Pyeongchang 2018, beginning with the Normal Hill. Normal Hill for the women starts on day three. The final event is the Large Hill team event on day 10 of the game. The Olympic Winter Games in Pyeongchang set to begin February 9th. Fill your knowledge tank by watching other episodes on Olympic Channel.